Bishop Ellis delivers a transformational message as we start the year. New features in our order of service. Highlights from Jumpstart 2016. Stay tuned for these and much more straight ahead. Welcome to Mount Tabor's News and Highlights for the week January 10th to the 16th, 2016. I'm Donnelly Hilton and I'm delighted to have you join us. 2016 has been dubbed the Year of Transformative Living. Last Sunday, expectancy was in high gear as Bishop Ellis delivered the first message of the year. During the message, Bishop Ellis emphasized the fact that if we want to see transformation, it will not come through the flesh, but through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches the deep things of God. He also said that no matter how much the lions roar in our lives this year, God is in complete control. Here's an excerpt from the message preached at 7 a.m. entitled, The Will of God. Let's take a look. When the lions roar, you only got one of two choices. Either you fight or you flee. You can fight it or you run from it. You live or you die. When the lions roar, Last Sunday also saw a transformation in the order of service. The additions to the main service timeline were the repeating of the mission statement, the focusing in on the word of the week, and the celebration of souls won into the kingdom during the week. In the 7 a.m. service, we witnessed the blessing of rings of two couples as they were engaged. As we are focusing in on the family this year, the engagements took on a new twist as the parents also participated in the brief ceremony. This past Monday and Tuesday, hundreds flocked to the sanctuary for our annual Jumpstart 2016. Once again, God rearranged the agenda as we knew it. Instead of a guest speaker, the Lord led our very own bishop to walk the congregation through two nights of practical teaching, dubbed Positioning Myself for a Year of Transformative Living. So you run in tight this month, where you are show off with all your co-workers, you're running tight and you're inviting people to lunch to show off. Now, you listen, it doesn't make sense to me to invite people to lunch and have to sit at the lunch praying they don't order that. <laughs> order that, order that. Lord, I hope she don't order this. I hope she ordered the chicken. I hope she don't order the steak. So I didn't bring her half a steak. I, I, I didn't bring it. No, no, no. God has not given you the spirit of fear. That does not mean it isn't real. It just me means it didn't come from him. But fear is real. Every one of us, no matter how saved and anointed we are, periodically bitten with the spirit of fear and sometimes fear bites us when God talks when God tells us what to do sometimes fear bites us see because God will never give you an assignment that you can one afford or two handle by yourself 
On Tuesday evening, the Lord demonstrated His Word with signs and wonders in a practical way. I was preaching about the wise men. Remember that, that text last week? And I was talking about how oh, everybody, only the wise men saw the star. Else passed by and didn't see that star in the sky. But they say, we have seen the star in the east and have come to worship him. And I said, somebody is anointed to see your star. Yeah. So now I'm preparing and the Lord brought that back to me and brought a word that he gave me for Anita Bain. He brought that back to me. Remember that word? Yes, you remember. And, and he talked about why he brought her from, a, from the America and deposited her here. Why Hervis Bean had to go to America and find her. Just to get her here because I'm anointed to see a star. He reminded me of that. Then reminded me of my teaching last night. And then he told me to do something. And I came into my office this morning, I told my assistant, I need you to write me a check. It's as soon as I came in. I said, I need to write, need you to write me a check because the Lord told me to do something. I wrote, we wrote this check for $1,000 to Anita. The Lord started revealing to me, this is why I conflicted Jamal Bryan's schedule. This, this thing is very deep. So, so come on, come on Anita, come get your check. Come, come. This is a seed of $1,000. I have seen your star. Mount Tabor writes, as this is a significant time in the body of Christ, let's ensure that we are holding on to and heeding every word from God by securing a copy of these teachings as they will bless your life and keep you on a track for 2016. Please note that due to the majority rule holiday, the war room will be closed on Monday, January 11th. You are encouraged to spend some quality time with your family and with the Lord. In Children's News, parents please note that Sunday School will commence this Sunday, January 10th. You are encouraged to make a special effort to have your children participate in the children's ministry as there are great and exciting plans afoot throughout the course of 2016. Mount Taborites, please be reminded that January commences our time of consecration. There will be no transformation without consecration. You are encouraged to participate in the Daniel Fast. Please visit our website at www.mounttabor.org for the daily prayer, affirmation, and the ending prayer. This concludes Mount Tabor's news and highlights. Thank you for watching. Until next time, remember that 2016 is our year of transformative living.